of the chase version of the Starters Orders Qualifier next then and again two moulds and two foils 0 to 120 and at the top time in eternity Leon Van Rensburg Capo Valdamo Darren Thompson and Barif for Alex Cherry one of those sometimes is now Obi-Wan Scottsdale lad Vinny Gerard stuff shot Obi-Wan Operation Bluebell for Graham Clutterbuck Rich D Craig Beckwith Safina De Niro for Paul Rhodes Dante Martin Leedham and the victim for Stu Gray so 11 then in this Called in and away, a weekly staple, the Starters Order 6 qualifier. And away they go, and all safely over the first, with the exception of Cafina De Niro. Cafina De Niro's gone. I've got a funny feeling that one fell at the first last week as well, but maybe that's my mind playing tricks. And anyway, it's two Obi Wan horses that have taken the race by the scruff of the neck and lead. Stuff shot is in front, and one of those sometimes is now is in second. That one definitely did fall last week. Really early on. Rich D is in third. In comes Cabo Valdamo. And time and eternity. Dante being pushed along around the outside to try and take closer order. Then Operation Bluebell as they get to the second. Which they're all safely over, including the loose horse who's running for fun around the outside of the track. As they get to the next. And they're all over that one as well with Amber Roof. Just the back marker for Alex Cherry. This will be the last next time round. Down on its nose there was Rich D. Also the Vinnie Gerard horse Scottsdale Lady didn't jump in all that well. And they passed the stand then with a circuit to go. And stuff shot. It's about three lengths clear. Well his stable mate one of those sometimes is now. And in turn is three lengths clear of Rich D on the inside of Time and Eternity. Operation Bluebell and Dante as they take the water. In the back four of Scottsdale Lady Cabo Valdamo, the victim and Amber Reef, but they're well strung out. Considering this is only a two and a quarter mile up, and they get over the sixth. And stuff shot is set in a pretty stiff pace. One of those sometimes is now. He's keeping up with him in a second. There's, oh, he's gone. He's gone this time. Stuff shot really stood off that one, and the jockey didn't get much chance to stay in the plate and it's the second faller but one of those sometimes is now he's left in the lead with the departure of his stable mate Rich D is in second then Time and Eternity and Operation Blue Belt Scottsdale ladies after that one and then Capo Valdamo on the outside of Dante and then the victim and finally Amber Reef being scrubbed along at the back they're inside the final mile one of those sometimes is now. Gets over this next one and really jumped it well. Over it in the second was Rich D and then Time and Eternity who's now overtaken that one on the flat. Then comes Operation Bluebell and Scottsdale Lady. Cabo Valdamo on the outside. Dante was slow being passed by the victim and Amber Reef is just the back marker but getting much closer. It's one of those sometimes is now. Now joined by Operation Bluebell. Those two disputing the lead from Time and Eternity in third. Rich D in fourth. Then there's a gap to Scott's now ladies as they take that one and now it's just Operation Blue Bell and Rich D in the lead from on the outside time and eternity one of those sometimes is now has dropped back to fourth being hard ridden then comes Scott's now lady and Dante as they take the 11th they've just got three more to take and it's Operation Blue Bell in the lead from time and eternity on his outside one of those sometimes is now he's trying to fight back Rich D's trying to run on three coming from the back Scott's now lady Dante and Cabo Valdamo I think we can forget the back two They've got three to take, and it's Operation Bluebell and Time and Eternity from Cabo Valdamo on the outside. Scottsdale Lady on that one's inside. They're coming down towards these final three fences now, then, and Operation Bluebell is a length clear. Gets over a third last, jumps it well. Time and Eternity second. Cabo Valdamo is third. Then comes Scottsdale Lady. Rich D's now beaten in fifth. They're coming down towards the final two, and over it goes Operation Bluebell. Operation Bluebell's over it, clearing the lead. Now under pressure, Time and Eternity. Cabo Valdamo running on over the final fence. They go and it's Operation Bluebell in the lead. Cabo Valdamo trying to close. Operation Bluebell's in the lead. Cabo Valdamo is getting closer, but Operation Bluebell is holding on. And Operation Bluebell's going to take it from Cabo Valdamo and Scottsdale Lady and Rich D and Time and Eternity. And then Dante, one of those times, is now. And then the victim, and finally Amber Reef. And Graham Clutterbuck takes it. Operation Bluebell. 
Darren Thompson to settle for second this time. So Operation Bluebell, the winner for Graham Clitzel, Campo Aldomo for Darren Thompson second. Scottsdale Lady Vinnie Gerard was third. Rich D for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And Time and Eternity for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.